Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Lost Judgment. So yeah, we're going to continue the story and we need to meet the dance club with Amasawa right now. So uh, let's go. She went ahead though. I don't know where she went, but at least we have a marker, right? This thing is going to, what do you call this? Uh, get interesting, right? Let's see. Can we do this all of it at the same time? No, no, this, uh, where, where, where is it? This one's cool stories, right? Can we do all of it? For example, like right now. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Well, they're dancing. Hmm. Where's the captain? Ah, uh, right there. Something's not right. I feel so out of it. Sayaka Nishizono, I'd like a word with you. Hey, aren't you... Amasawa from the Mystery Research Club? You betcha. Don't worry, I come bearing good news. Oh great, the MRC. What do you want with us? We're not up to anything. Calm down, I'm not here to expose your secrets to the world. I only wanted to introduce you to someone. Uh, what are you getting at? To preface this, I noticed your club advisor hasn't been showing up much lately. Yeah, apparently he got really sick. We're lucky if we see him a couple times a month. Right, and it must be rough trying to choreograph an entire routine without him. Yeah, and we've got a meet coming up soon. It's so much pressure. I see. Then the stars really did align in your favor. Um, what? Listen, Senpai, I know we might seem desperate, but it's not like we need any favors. Don't worry, you don't owe me for this. I'm offering you a potential advisor as a token of goodwill. A potential advisor? <laughs> Let's not sweat the small stuff. The important thing is, Yagami-san here said he'd agree to help you with your routine as a stand-in advisor. <laughs> help with their routine? When did I ever say that? Oh my gosh, really? This is just what we needed! Oh my gosh, you know, really? I can tell you had a certain something about you. So how long have you been a pro dancer? Uh, I'm not. <gasps> oh, so modest. This is like one of those dream come true moments in a movie. I've been literally racking my brain trying to come up with a workable routine. Oh, I'm so glad that's on you now. Whoa, 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 whoa. time out. I'm missing some important qualifications here. Yagami-san, this is your Reichenbach Falls <laughs> moment. You need to dive headfirst into the challenge. Don't you get it? Uh, no? Um, do you think we can get started? We've been practicing and practicing, but something about our choreography feels off. We all know our moves and everybody's got rhythm, so all that should be left is bringing our A game. But it feels like we're still missing something, you know? That wow factor. It's really kind of down to the wire to be figuring this stuff out, but I know we'll push through if we try. Uh-huh. <laughs> so can I ask for your first impression? Does our routine need more going on, or...? Uh, you know, it's hard to say what's going on at this point. I shouldn't have to say this, but keen observation is elementary for a detective. And? And you need to tell them what you observed. You did have your eyes open, didn't you? Fine. So the test has already started. Great. Well, I'd better start winning over Amasawa. Time to weigh in my honest opinion. Special selections. What is this? Uh. Okay. I don't understand. Yeah, they're not... The timing is okay, though. Bigger impact. I think your performance could use a little more flair. Flair? How so? Well, you're already in perfect sync, and everyone knows their part. But... How to put it? You were right. It needs something that's gonna leave a lasting impact. 
I see what you mean. Maybe we are just kind of going through the motions here. If only we could come up with better stuff. Oh, maybe you could give us some suggestions. Ah. Oh. Suggestions? I don't even know how to dance. <laughs> but if I don't get through this somehow, it's back to the whole pervert thing. Let's take apart what could give you the edge you need. Kung Fu. What if he didn't dance at all? <laughs> no, 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 this one. Why not incorporate Kung Fu? Uh, did you just say Kung Fu? Sure did. Throw a few kicks and punches, or knock the competition right out. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, and it's not like martial arts-based dancing is entirely unheard of. But we don't know the first thing about Kung Fu. Well, you're in luck. Kung Fu happens to be a hobby of mine. <gasps> no way! That's so cool! Well, it's my own style. You won't find it in any ancient scrolls. It's flashy. <laughs> Perfect! So will you teach us? I guess I'm gonna have to. Sweet! Then let's get a quick demonstration. <laughs> let's see some ass-kicking dance then. <laughs> Wait, really? I really have to do this? Of course. How else are we gonna learn? Look up some random videos? We'll get to analyze your moves, your footwork, your breathing. We'll learn from the pro. I wouldn't get your hopes up, though. What if my stuff doesn't fit your routine at all? So, you're not gonna help us after all? That's pretty weak. If you're giving up after stringing them along this far, hang tight while I dial 110. Hold it. Huh? Yes, we have no choice. You know what? I think I can wing it well enough. <laughs> But this is gonna be fun. Before though, so don't get mad if it's crappy, okay? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. You're gonna do fantastic. Am I really about to do this? You are. Oh yeah, let's see. You can dance, Igami. Use your kung fu. <laughs> okay. What we'll do first is show you the opening 30 seconds of our routine until the chorus hits. While you're watching, keep an eye out for the parts that could use some kung fu moves. Sure. Good plan. Okay, so here's how we start. <sighs> and there, now you take it away. Oh, doubt I can top that. But you know what? May as well try. That's a spirit. Ready for the music? Okay, here we go. A uh, rhythm game at the dance club. Select one of Yagami's EX solos. Freestyle. Freestyle B. <laughs> I'm not even clicking anything. Okay. Freaking dance. Let's see. Okay, oh, X, Y, B. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, stop with this tutorial thingies. Oh my god, he's serious? How do you do this? <laughs> Wait, that was it? Damn. Wait, that was like 10 seconds. The tutorial was longer. What was that? Incredible. I want oh, more. Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you. Winning is part skill and part pulling out of your ass. I don't think a seasoned athlete could pull that off. Yagami-san, that was incredible. You're not just a pro, you're a master. Well, <laughs> you're giving an amateur way too much credit here. No way an amateur moves like that. You're something else. Maybe you don't realize it, but you have a gift for this. You're totally a born dancer. <laughs> I don't know about all that. What you call a gift, I call muscle memory. What? 
Well, whatever you call it, we're gonna use every last bit of it in our routine, if that's okay. <laughs> you seriously saved our necks just now, Yagami-san. Hey, I'm just glad it all worked out. Um, if it's okay to ask, could you drop by and give us more pointer sometime? Ever since our advisor stopped showing, we've barely been keeping it together. And we could all use some guidance from someone we can trust. <laughs> if you guys will have me, then sure. Not sure I have many pointers left, though. Hmm. Oh, you're the best! I think it's time we headed back now, Yagni-san. Huh? Oh, sure. It is nice, though. Yeah, it's like you're a teacher. Not technically a teacher, an advisor, right? So did I pass? But yeah, I'd say it's I fun. Headway with the dance yes. Club. Indeed you have. Honestly, I'm still in shock over how easily you won Nishizono-san over. Every time I try to approach her, she reacts like I'm there to accuse her of something. Gee, I wonder why. I'm sure the MRC has gained some notoriety. Well, all the more reason we need an amazing advisor who can keep up with us. Oh, I'm amazing now. Does this mean I'm no longer a criminal? Yeah, I really should apologize for that at some point. Also, I have another theory as to why you install that camera. Yeah? Let's hear it. So, a higher detective shows up to covertly monitor a specific group of students. Meanwhile, spreading through the news like wildfire is the case of Akihiro Ehara, a man connected to our school. Put those pieces together, and your objective here starts taking shape. But, I wouldn't want to hamper any important detective work of yours, so for now, I'll let that theory sit. Okay, wow, she really is sharp. I guess she's president of the Mystery Club for a good reason. At any rate, Yagami-san, I'll go ahead and let the chairman know of our arrangement. That is to say, I'll formally request you as our advisor. Well, that'd be great. But do you really think you'll hire me just like that? Sure, so long as you're officially considered an outside guidance counselor. I don't see why not. Also, we do need another faculty member as a supervisor, that's more of a formality than anything. Their only responsibility is signing the paperwork. You'll still be the one running the club. Our school makes you jump through a lot of hoops just to be welcomed as a guest, huh? Yeah, sounds like they won't let in just anybody. Anyway, is there a teacher you had in mind? Yep, no worries there. The chairman actually promised to sign off on whoever we chose. Well, I made him promise might be a bit more accurate. What? Really? Man, I wish he'd told me. He told me the club's already had advisors and left it at that. Typical. I doubt he wants to actually keep his word. After all, if we get into trouble, he'll be directly responsible. He probably thinks the MRC is a big enough liability as it is. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, with all that said, welcome to the Mystery Research Club. Can't wait to see a real detective in action. Hey, you'll get your chance. And it's a pleasure to be on board. Oh, when you have a spare moment, could you join us in the club room for a talk? I'd like your advice on another case we're monitoring. What, you've got something besides the sugar baby? Yes, and this one may actually be even nastier. In fact, the sugar baby may be but a single thread amidst a larger, more sinister web of conspiracies. But that's a lot to digest, I know. I'll get you up to speed when you're free. Okay. Not quite sure how to process that right now, but I'll make sure to swing by at some point. Okay, school stories. Uh, yes, well, delinquent activity didn't meet the eye at Sierra High. Separate from the main story, so feel free to play at your leisure. Leadership. Okay, accomplishing tasks in various stories will grow different facets of Yagami's leadership. If you can make any headway in one story, you may be able to trigger next on a progressing another story. Hmm. Okay. Finally got my in with the school. Now I can ask around about Mikoshibo without getting the boot. Apparently he was tied with a basketball club, being a former member, that comes as a no surprise. 
Now, where do basketball players go after school? To the gym, of course. Okay, how do we check, though? Um, Sierra High School. No, I wanna... I wanna, I wanna just check a little bit. I kind of want to do this. Yes. Yagami -san. Oh, Yagami-san. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yep. Outside counselor for the MRC <laughs> at your service. Yagami-san. And congrats on that, Yagami-san. Definitely better than being on Sis's bad side. She must have really laid it into you, huh? She ha was wo wo uh, all worked up the day before, ranting about busting that pervert. I guess so. Yeah, I almost ended up on the front page of the papers as some um, kind of a high school creeper. Thanks, sir. Sorry. I ought to apologize for that. By the way. So, Amasawa, you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes. Yes, there's a rather nasty rumor going around and we were hoping you could help us with the investigation. Well... As a matter of fact, there's a possibility that the sugar baby incident is actually related to this rumor. I suppose I ought to do my duty as an advisor. Okay, urban legend. Somewhat recently, a large number of Ijincho teens have begun engaging in illicit behavior. All these delinquency issues are flying under their radar though, without any authority figures catching a wise so far. Which is surprising considering they really run the gamut, shoplifting, smoking, sugar baby, street racing, gambling, phone scams. Even more surprising, many of these cases are otherwise reputable students who decided to break bad out of the blue almost uh, simultaneously hmm. that is rather strange the most intriguing part of the rumor is though is that a single individual has enabled this criminal activity huh? you mean there's a mastermind behind it all or something at least in effect if the rumor is accurate someone is leading the students down a dark path word is getting to the point that this sole person appears to be the entire source of all this delinquency Ooh. Oh. Sounds almost uh, like some kind of herbal legend. Apparently, the Sierra High students referred to him as the Professor. Ooh, I wonder who that is. The Professor. I'd like to believe it's a reference to Sherlock Holmes, the greatest nemesis, Professor James Moriarty, right? He masterminded all sorts of criminal acts throughout London in his debut story. He referred to as the Napoleon of Crime. In other words. But perhaps it would be more accurate to refer to our own professor as the Napoleon of Delinquency. So to sum it up. So this is fascinating stuff, but you said it's all just a rumor so far, right? No. Well, the recurring themes in these rumors are specific enough to make me think there's something to them. Well. Apparently there's a secret website run by the professor that only Sario students can access. <sighs> I've identified some students who admit they know of the site, but they're not exactly opening up to me any further. Ooh, a secret website. So, uh, what's it supposed to be? Some kind of message board? I've always heard those wind up turn, turning into pits of anonymous hate, nothing but places for bullies to get their kicks. Okay. Yes. Likewise. However, there's apparently a unique feature on the professor's website that's gotten the students' attention. Hmm? What kind of unique fe feature? Well, when students write posts stating their desires for something, it sounds like the professor appears and grants their wishes. Unbelievable. That's absurd. No. May I remind you, this is only a rumor, but I imagine if some of the wishes are for answers on the test, or a way to make easy money, or to get revenge on a certain individual. Huh. Okay, this is starting to sound a little more like a case than an urban legend, but it's still awful hard to swallow. Yes. Yes, but it sounds dangerous enough to merit an investigation. Concerning the hooligans the professor seems to surround himself with, there's someone no high schooler should turn it to for assistance. Okay, we need to see the thugs. I see. Oh, he's got hooligans? Uh, the com that, that complicates things. Hey! What's a hooligan? The kind of punk who pulls scams and runs shady businesses. Sort of like a Yakuza, but without any rules or discipline, and they can be a lot to, uh, a lot worse to deal with. 
Anti-gang laws don't apply to them, so they're hard to sweep up. More and more of them are popping up ever since the Tojo and the Omi clan disbanded. Right. Wow, I had no idea. Well. On a related note, I've heard that the dance club Sugar Baby nearly got caught up in a dangerous situation. But some large vulgar men suddenly appeared and offered her protection. Apparently, they were sent to serve as her enforcers. I'm surprised you know what they're called. <laughs> I read a lot of books. At any rate, considering the range of criminal activity we have already discussed, I imagine this is hypothetical operation in Ijincho would be quite a lucrative one. If I were to guess, in fact, it could be very well be a lucrative enough for someone to decide it's worth capitalizing on, perhaps with the use of a mysterious frontman. Okay, so all the talk about the professor might just be a smokescreen to let these thugs run their schemes. That actually sounds more plausible. Yes. You see now, from the right perspective, this urban legend actually appears rather mundane. Okay, all good for now. Hmm. I think I got a solid grasp of the situation. Do you need anything new for me, or should I just keep it at with the dance clip for yes. now? No, please just continue your efforts. In the meantime, I'll keep after the professor rumors and sniff out anything useful. I know you already have your hands full, but depending on what I hear, we may need you to infiltrate other communities as well. Sure, just let me know when you need me. Uh, oh, by the way, there's an app I recommend that you download if you're going to be getting more involved. It's a scheduling system for tracking your activities and responsibilities. It seems popular among teachers who are club advisors. I imagine it'll do you some good considering your increasing involvement in school life. Oh, this one. What is this? Hmm. School diary, okay. At the base of Kyoko Masawa, Yagami looks into this matters and forms bond with students. His leadership will grow. Teamwork, focus, guts, and appeal. If you're stuck, check your tasks. Hmm. Okay. Now that you mention it. By the way, Yagami san, I heard from the chairman that you have a lawyer's license. Yeah, although I'm not practicing anymore. What about it? No. Oh, nothing. It's just the thought of almost accusing a lawyer of being a voyeur gives me the shivers. Think I could sue for defamation? <sighs> Please don't. <laughs> the brother is laughing there. No, I want to see what uh what. I, don't, I guess we can do anything else right now, right? Investigate the professor, continue the dance club uh, investigation. I guess there's really nothing right now. Maybe we need to advance the story first, right? To do some stuff, maybe. Okay, so I guess we'll just continue the main story for now. Maybe we'll do it, um couple chapters later we'll start doing it i mean right but yeah they'll do it well just it's just chapter two right now so maybe a lot of things are still locked for now let's do this hey guys how we all doing sweating it out on some layups uh who are you my name's yagami i've been the mrc's advisor for all of a couple minutes and i need to ask the basketball club a few questions Okay. There was a student teacher who used to hang around here as recent as, what, October? Mikoshiba's the name. Oh yeah, Mikoshiba-san. Anyway, he stopped showing up out of nowhere. Any of you have any theories? Okay, scratch that. Then, what kind of teacher was he? Is he nice? Is he a jerk? I wouldn't say jerk, but he was... enthusiastic? Yeah, I mean, he did show up almost daily. The club was really good back in his day. That's probably why he had us hustling even harder than the coach. So, would you say he was on good terms with you all? I guess. Wait, where's Koda and them? Oh, from Class 2-2? I don't know. I haven't seen Matsu, Nakane, anyone. Those guys, they might make a scene if they see me again. Something special about Class 2 2? Well, yeah. Koda's in 2 2, and she was Mikoshiba Sensei's star pupil. 
Star pupil? I do know who you're talking about, by the way. Are you saying she was favored over the others? In a way, Mikoshiba sensei worked her harder because she hadn't played basketball till high school. See, most of us already had tons of experience by the time we joined. So, anyone starting as late as now has to be really athletic to keep up with the team. Mikoshiba sensei knew that too. I'd say him looking after Koda did us all a favor. Wow, sounds like the model instructor. Ah, if you say so. But I'm not sure Koda felt that way. Oh? Mikoshiba sensei might have just thought it was tough love, but I think he went overboard with the teasing sometimes. Like, he'd make her shoot and then go, See? That was how not to do it. Are you saying he would mock her? Hmm, that makes it sound bad. He was doing it because he cared, I think. Hey, wasn't Mikoshiba sensei the one who started the whole arousing thing? <laughs> He said the way she held the ball was arousing. Said it was her main contribution. That's not true. She's got a nice chest, too. That's fair. Anyway, when Mikoshiba sensei stopped coming, the guys in 2 2 were all like, Okay, what did Koda do to him? Are you implying they had a relationship? Beats me. Mikoshiba sensei did anything like that, he would have gotten canned on the spot. Yeah, people like to gossip, but as they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Maybe Kodasan's the reason he was always so fired up. <laughs> Maybe she's the reason he got fired. <laughs> so the writing on her hand, it wasn't some random insult. Um, are we about done here? Last thing, where are Kodasan and the others? Are they often this late? No, everyone's usually here by now. Uh, maybe they're still in their classroom? Okay, and I think that about does it. Back to work for the both of us, huh? Okay, where do we go? Look for Coda, Mommy. Mommy Coda. <laughs> Let's look for her. She in the classroom? Okay. You spacing out on me? Look at me when I'm talking. You can't face us because you're weak. Who gave you permission to quit anyway? Newsflash, you're nothing without the club. Yeah, think about us for a second. Who has to pick up all the grunt work when you're gone? Maybe she feels special after what happened at lunch. Like people suddenly give a shit about her. Doesn't give you the right to ditch practice. Talk about selfish, am I right? Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Is that all you know how to say? You think we're letting a stuck-up bitch like you give the orders? You guys still haven't learned to play fair? This fucking guy. Why's your dirty old ass still here? Attention, students! Be on the lookout for a creeper showing up in your classrooms! If I were you, I'd watch my mouth around a club advisor. Say what? I'm Yagami, from the Yagami Detective Agency. And your chairman just hired me to advise the Mystery Research Club. Bullshit. I guess word hasn't gotten around? Maybe I'll let a few wisecracks slide for now then. But mark my words, I'll be here every day of the week. So be on your best behavior. Uh, we better get to practice. Yeah, you do that. Oh, and uh, break a leg out there, Matsu. Matsu. <laughs> Not very nice, are they? Are you all right? I'm fine. Kodasan, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but as I said, I'm a detective, and I need to talk about Hiro Mikoshiba. <sighs> he started training as a teacher here pretty recently, right? And one day he just stopped showing up? At the time, did you notice anything strange about him? Maybe he seemed troubled, or you saw him hanging around strangers? Why? 
Why are you asking me? The basketball club members think you and Mikoshiba might have been close, at least at practice. They said that? Maybe her relationship with Mikoshiba is a memory she'd rather forget. Well, I suppose there wasn't much truth to what I'd heard then. Don't sweat it. Just so you know, I'm actually going to be hanging around here at the school for a little while longer. If it's cool, I hope we can find a way to be friends. See ya. Wait a sec. Earlier today, it was your voice that I heard, wasn't it? I just... never expected anyone to actually stand up for me in school. But you could say I didn't really stand up to them for myself much either. We all just treated it like it was a normal thing. Sometimes people would even laugh about it. But then, today, you guys something changed. Leave her alone. Everyone suddenly decided to take a stand like they'd seen enough. I couldn't believe it. But that first voice, the one that told them to stop... It was you. That was your voice, wasn't it, Yagami-san? Yes, <laughs> she knows. Who could say? I knew it. It was you. Thank you so much for that. Today was eye-opening. I never realized... I never thought about how horribly I was being treated until everyone stood up for me. What's more, it made me see that I was strong. In fact, I finally stood up to the basketball kids. So you did? Is that what made you decide to quit the club? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to play basketball in a real team. I used to read this manga that made it look so cool. In a comic, even if you're a terrible player, the team always tries to lift you up. I tried. I wanted it to work, even if all they did was tear me down. But today... I just up and quit. That's not cool at all, is it? You did nothing wrong, Kodosan. Truth is, there's a lot of injustice in the world that goes unseen. And some people decide it's easier to be part of the problem than be part of the solution. The kind of people who only feel joy when they see others in pain. You can only do so much to make people see the light. At some point, you've just got to let them go. You know what I mean? Then there's no shame in quitting. But Yagami-san, I think you can only say that because you're such a strong person. Hmm, okay. In that case, we won't call it quitting. Huh? You can play. It doesn't have to be with the basketball club. If you practice, you wouldn't even need a school basketball club to get to where you want to be. If this sport is what you want to do with your life, I guarantee you there's going to be a path for you to take. And all you have to do is find that path. I mean, it's got to be out there. And then you don't have to call it quitting. I don't know about that. Are you sure? I mean... Wouldn't that be cheating? <laughs> Come on, try to work with me here. So, the MRC, you're the advisor? Yagami-san? Yeah. If you need anything, you just let us know. Anything at all. For example, if you hit any more trouble with those basketball club kids, you find me. Sure. Wanna join? You wanna join the You've club? Letter of Club Resignation. Oh, Mr. Detective. Yagami-san, right? Yeah. Shouldn't you be at practice with everyone else? Yeah, well, remember Matsun and Sakaki? You know, the two other guys I'm always hanging around? They're ready to talk to you about Mikoshiba-sensei now. Huh. Well, Detective. I think they have a lead for you. 
Oh, is she baiting hey, me or what? You're here on some kind of case, right? You know, Mikoshiba sensei talked to us pretty often. I think maybe we can help. That is, if you wouldn't mind starting fresh with all of us. Oh, turning over a new leaf, are we? We kind of have to. How else are we going to get good college recommendations? It would really bite us in the ass if you went and narked on us, so... Will you at least hear us out? Matsun and the rest are just upstairs. Please, be a nice guy. We're really sorry. Okay. I see where this is going. How many guys are up there waiting to jump me? The next floor up is for third years, right? You rope some of your senpais into this too? Wow, you don't even know us and you're throwing out accusations like that? How are we supposed to become upstanding citizens with teachers like this? It's just not fair. So that's pretty pathetic crap, but maybe they really can give me some info on Mikoshiba. Fine, I'll hear you out. Tell your friends I'm on my way. Really? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> okay, head to the third floor. But yeah, this is a bait for sure. Um, we need something else. Two five locker. Okay, we need something good for this. We're gonna we're gonna get killed here for sure. We got six attacks now. Jesus. But it seems like the SP is much uh, faster here in this game, right? I, I, it feels like it because we got like 8,000 just second. It, it's just a second chapter. <laughs> so fast. It was not that fast in the other game. Okay, what happened? Okay, I thought it crashed there. <laughs> Over here, Yagami-san. Sorry to drag you all the way up here for this. You wanted to talk to me? About Mikoshiba Sensei? What? I can't hear a word you're saying, man. Why don't you come closer so we don't have to shout? Yeah, let's get this over with. <laughs> so many of you. You guys all know Mikoshiba-sensei? Nah, that's not how our senpai friends roll. They know the Yokohama Liumon. Yokohama Liumon? The Liumon? You mean the local gang? Hell yeah. I've got a friend who's in deep with those guys. I scratch their back by bringing them chicks to hang out with. And they scratch mine by tipping me for it. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal, actually. Also, we've got a little thing going. I get to drop the Liumong name if I need him to handle some business. So you sell them girls in exchange for honorary membership? You need to find better friends. Don't talk to me like you know me. I stay on their good side and I get my personal bodyguards. I work with the tools I've got to get to the top. So you got it all figured out, don't you, kid? But you're missing the big picture. They're gonna turn the table so fast you won't know what hit you. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. But I wouldn't worry about me right now. You're the one who's got the real problem on his hands. You get it? From now on, if you even lay a finger on us, you offend the Yokohama Liumon, and they'll take that personally. You see what deep shit you're in here, Yagami-san? So how about it? You know how to say you're sorry? Cash for our pain and suffering. Oh yeah? How much are we talking here? Grand? A mil. If you're short, I'd be happy to hook you up with a loan shark. I know a guy who lends for the Seiryu clan Yakuza. First Seiryu it's gang, clan. now it's the Yakuza. Keep bringing adult shit into this, I'm gonna start treating you like one. Huh? You wanna see what happens to gang members? I'll show you. You sure you wanna do that? We're gonna charge you extra. Oh, you got this shit down, Matsui. Let's take this asshole down! Fuck him up! We don't have any health though. Or healing items, I think. Hmm. 
is gonna be quite dangerous. Oh, you got a knife. Got you now. No, you don't. Huh? You're running away, I guess. He got a knife, dude. What? Did he just jump off? Nah, he's just hiding in the dark, like a scared little cockroach. My eyes are burning. At least my vision is finally coming back. You guys go look for him and tell me when you find him. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> you got this in the bag. Uh, Senpai, what do we do? You guys follow me. <laughs> we'll all smoke together till we get an update. Sure, I'll come with. Senpai's the toughest around, and the coolest! Ah, oh, well. All for my adorable little underlings. <laughs> what does it look like, uh, the guy in Stranger Things was his name again? The brother, the big brother of the... Girl with the red hair? I forgot his name. I guess Punk Smoke at school these days. Two thought that was a thing of a past. Billy? It was Billy, right? Anyway, I need to ask Matsu and the other uh, uh, others about Mikoshiba, so I'll catch him off guard this time. Yeah, his name is Billy, right? Billy. Okay, now we need to... <laughs> We're gonna fall down. Do you like this, by the way? This, uh... Parkour. I mean, it's a nice, uh... Nice addition, I suppose, right? But it's okay, I guess. Okay, I need to get up there. Is that a book? But yeah, it, it adds, I guess, a little bit more. Verge of Dead Wounded Tiger. It adds more stuff to do. Not just tailing. So it's much more diverse, I guess. We got stealth. Then we got this one. Then we still got tailing. But yeah, honestly, it's much better than just tailing, right? Okay, I need to go down, but I need to get this first. For the school stories, as I said, maybe we'll just do it a little bit later. Maybe when we unlock a lot. Because I don't want to, like, progress and then it's gonna be blocked, right? Progress and block. Progress Tastes and good, block. Senpai. Smoking a cigarette in the classroom? So you came all this way just to get your ass kicked. Hey, Akane! Go get the other senpais! Uh, okay, I'm on it. You guys better watch out. If your teacher busts you smoking, won't you get in big trouble? On the other hand, you guys could use a lesson in manners. And I'd be happy to teach you. Huh? What the hell? Bastard! So this is where you were hiding! Now what? That mouth of yours won't get you out of this. I'm taking you down! <laughs> Don't give me that <laughs> smug look. Senpai? Oh, no, 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 Senpai leader. <laughs> Dude, help! Oh, <laughs> 
Komatsu. Okay, we're gonna die though. Heal, heal. Oh no, I got stabbed. Heal. A maniac. He's too good at this, man. Hey, you mentioned compensation for pain and suffering. Uh, that still sound like a good idea? No, we were just being stupid. C could you maybe forget all that? Then from here on out, we're buds, right? Ow! Ah, my shoulder! Holy shit, that hurts, Yagami-san! Tell me everything you know about Mikoshiba. After all, you guys were pretty close, right? Mikoshiba Sensei showed up to practice, like, basically every day. Kind of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest. As soon as our coach would leave, it's like a switch would flip and he'd start drilling us. He'd make us do, like, ten sets of cross-court dashes. And if even one of us lagged behind, it meant ten more. For all of us. That made it obvious real quick. Koda was our weakest link. So Mikoshiba was especially harsh on her, then? Yeah, cause she's such a freaking klutz. Even the first years got sick of her eventually. <laughs> Only thing she did right was unite the team against her. You gang up and belittle a single defenseless girl, a beginner in your sport, and you call that unity. Real classy. Listen up. Mikoshiba's parents have reported him missing. Foul play could be in the works here. He's been gone for far too long. Hey, you think maybe Koda did it? Some kind of crime of passion? This isn't the time for bullshit. Or you want to keep going? Nope. I'll pass. Have you talked to Sawa Sensei yet? He probably knows Mikoshiba Sensei better than anyone. All she told me was how exemplary he was, both as a student and a student teacher. And that he looked out for you guys, out of some sort of camaraderie. Huh? She really talked him up that good? Why, something off about that? Uh, it's just... Sawa Sensei was really cold to him, no matter what he'd do. I actually brought that up to him one day, and it turns out the rumors were right. Rumors? Back when Mikoshiba Sensei was a student, one of his classmates apparently committed suicide. And Sawa Sensei suspected him of bullying the kid. I don't think he ever really got past that. He'd get all depressed sometimes. Really? Sawa-sensei thought Mikoshiba was a bully? Oh, yeah. I actually asked him about it once, but he just laughed it off. Okay, this isn't enough to prove Mikoshiba was a bully, but Sawa-sensei did seem less than convincing with me. I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So, as far as I knew, Mikoshiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. What did she really think about Mikoshiba? I'll have to press her on it.
Okay, we need to look for Sao Sensei now. I mean, I guess we need to go to the faculty or the classroom, but most likely the faculty, right? No, no, no. Uh, up, up, up. Sao Sensei. Second floor. This is getting interesting. Hi there. Has Sawa Sensei gone home? Actually, she's in a meeting with the chairman. So then she's at his office? Yes, but I think they may have some visitors. Gotcha. Thanks. Okay, a visitor for Sawa Sensei. Maybe she'll be busy for a good while. There's a photo on a peak earlier. This may not be the finest hour, but it it could still make for a useful clue. So Sawa Sensei had suspected Mikoshiba was a bully. Maybe she wasn't being honest with me before. What the? Yes, yeah, the photo behind this. Looks like a photo of Sawa Sensei's high school days. Her uniform is different from what they wear here. Because it's a different school. I can see part of a photo of a male Serio high school student. I'm sorry to do this, but... Suspicious. Remove. How do we open this? What? Hey. Okay, never seen this face before. At least it's not Hiro Mikoshiba. Is this Ihara's son? The boy who killed himself four years ago? Odd for a teacher to have a picture of a single random student on her desk, though. True. I can't confirm his identity right now, though. I should look for Sao Sensei. She should be in the chairman's office. Okay, let's go to the chairman's office. I mean, maybe she just remembers the kid. That's why she has her. She has the fo a photo of him. Here we go. Huh? The cops are here. Pardon. Hmm. Ah, uh, Yagami-san. Those men are with the Kanagawa police. They said they're here to make inquiries about Mikoshiba-kun's disappearance. And they asked to see Sawa-sensei too? Yes. But I have to ask, can you tell me what's really going on? You were asking questions about Mikoshiba-kun as well. I should leave it to the police to fill you in on that. I mean... Their sources are probably more recent than mine. They should have the latest details. Mikashibakun is... no longer with us, is he? Then it's just as I feared. Okay, so we finished the second chapter. That was quite fast, though. So yeah, I'm very, very interested in doing the school stories. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I actually want to start them, but the problem is it may have... How do you call How do you say this? Blockers, I guess? For example, you can't progress this. You need to be in this chapter. Maybe there's something like that, right? So maybe we could start some. Right, how we like how we do with the side cases, but I think this one is gonna be a little bit longer. But we're gonna have to see. I don't. I don't even know how long are the stories technically. Right? Imagine if we had like twenty stories. Let's say twenty, twenty-five stories. Right? 
2025 episodes in between our main story dude that's that's way too long right but yeah we'll see but but i'm, I'm gonna do all of it for sure and, and uh, side gaze as well just like we did in judgment i'm just thinking of on how are we gonna do it yes because we're, we we have to do the main story the side cases school stories a lot i mean there's a lot so anyways um finish chapter two and on to chapter three in the next one we'll start it at the least right so i'll just see you then guys bye bye